A wildfire tore through the heart of the Hawaiian island of Maui in darkness Wednesday, reducing much of a historic town to ash and forcing people to jump into the ocean to flee the flames. At least six people died and dozens were wounded. The fires continued to burn Wednesday afternoon, fueled by strong winds from Hurricane Dora as it passed well south of the Hawaiian Islands. Officials feared the death toll could rise. As winds diminished somewhat, some aircraft resumed flights, enabling pilots to view the full scope of the devastation. Aerial video from coastal Lahaina showed dozens of homes and businesses flattened, including on Front Street, where tourists gathered to shop and dine. Smoking heaps of rubble lay piled high next to the waterfront, boats in the harbor were scorched, and gray smoke covered over the leafless skeletons of charred trees. It's horrifying. I've flown here 52 years and I've never seen anything come close to that, said Richard Alston, a helicopter pilot for a tour company. We had tears in our eyes, the other pilots on board and the mechanics, and me. Acting Governor Sylvia Luke said the flames wiped out communities and urged travelers to stay away. This is not a safe place to be, she said. The exact cause of the blaze couldn't be determined. But a number of factors, including high winds, low humidity and dry vegetation, likely contributed, said Major General Kenneth Hara, Adjutant General for Hawaii State Department of Defense. Experts also said climate change is increasing the likelihood of more extreme weather. Climate change in many parts of the world is increasing vegetation dryness, in large part because temperatures are hotter, said Erica Fleischmann, director of the Oregon Climate Change Research Institute at Oregon State University. Even if you have the same amount of precipitation, if you have higher temperatures, things dry out faster. The wind-driven conflagration swept into the area with alarming speed and ferocity, blazing through intersections and leaping across wooden buildings in the Lahaina town center that dates to the 1700s and is on the National Register of Historic Places. It was apocalyptic from what they explained, T.R. Lawrence said of 14 cousins and uncles who fled the town and took refuge at her home in Pukalani, east of Lahaina. Lahaina resident Kiyomoko Kapu was tying down loose objects in the wind at the cultural center he runs in Lahaina when his wife showed up Tuesday afternoon and told him they needed to evacuate. Right at that time, things got crazy, the wind started picking up, said Kapu, who added that they got out in the nick of time. Two blocks away they saw fire and billowing smoke. Kapu, his wife, and a friend jumped into his pickup truck. By the time we turned around, our building was on fire, he said. It was that quick. Crews were battling three fires in Maui, in Lahaina, South Maui's Kihei area and the mountainous, inland communities known as Upcountry, said Mahina Martin, spokesperson for Maui County. In the Upcountry Kula area, at least two homes were destroyed Tuesday in a fire that engulfed about 1.7 square miles 4.5 square kilometers, County of Maui Mayor Richard Bisson Jr. said. There have been no reports of injuries or homes lost to three wildfires burning on Hawaii's Big Island, Mayor Mitch Roth said Wednesday. Firefighters did extinguish a few roof fires. The National Weather Service said Hurricane Dora, which was passing to the south of the island chain at a safe distance of 500 miles 805 kilometers, was partly to blame for gusts above 60 miles per hour 97 kilometers per hour that knocked out power, rattled homes and grounded firefighting helicopters on Maui. The Coast Guard on Tuesday rescued 14 people, including two children, who had fled into the ocean to escape the fire in smoky conditions, the county said in a statement. Fires killed six people on Maui, but search and rescue operations continued and the number could rise, Bisson said. Six patients were flown from Maui to the island of Oahu on Tuesday night, said Speedy Bailey, regional director for Hawaii Life Flight, an air ambulance company. TH3 of them had critical burns and were taken to Straub Medical Center's burn unit, he said. The others were taken to other Honolulu hospitals. At least 20 patients were taken to Maui Memorial Medical Center, he said. Authorities said earlier Wednesday that a firefighter in Maui was hospitalized in stable condition after inhaling smoke. Luke issued an emergency proclamation on behalf of Governor Josh Green, who is traveling, and activated the Hawaii National Guard to assist. Certain parts of Maui, we have shelters that are overrun, Luke said. We have resources that are being taxed. President Joe Biden said in a statement Wednesday evening that he has ordered all available federal assets to help Hawaii. The president said the Coast Guard and Navy are supporting response and rescue efforts, while the Marines are providing Black Hawk helicopters to fight the fires. There's no count available for the number of structures that have burned or the number of people who have evacuated, but officials said there were four shelters open housing 2,100 people. Kahului Airport, the main airport in Maui, was sheltering 2,000 travelers whose flights were canceled or who recently arrived on the island, the county said. Officials were preparing the Hawaii Convention Center in Honolulu to take in up to 4,000 displaced tourists and locals. 
Local people have lost everything, said James Tokioka, director of the Department of Business, Economic Development and Tourism. They've lost their house, they've lost their animals. Kapu, the owner of the Na Ikane Omawi Cultural Center in Lahaina, said he and his wife didn't have time to pack up anything before being forced to flee. We had years and years of research material, artifacts, he said. Alan Dicker said he's not sure what remains of his vintage European posters gallery, which was a fixture on Front Street in Lahaina for 23 years. Before evacuating with three friends and two cats, Dicker recorded video of flames engulfing the main strip of shops and restaurants frequented by tourists. Every significant thing I owned burned down today, he said. Lahaina is often thought of as just a Maui tourist town, Lawrence said, but we have a very strong Hawaiian community. I'm just heartbroken. Everywhere, our memories, she said. Everyone's homes, everyone's lives have tragically changed in the last 12 hours.